the JAMA Network. Chances are the mothers of many of these babies underwent a cesarean or C-section birth. Almost one out of every five births on the planet occur via cesarean section. Poorer countries uh, were actually doing more C-sections um, as a proportion of all the care that they were providing compared to wealthier countries. Doctors Alex Haynes and George Molina from Ariadne Labs at Brigham and Women's Hospital and co-authors gathered publicly available data from the 194 World Health Organization member countries. Using this information, they estimated 2012 C-section rates worldwide and examined how those rates affected maternal and neonatal health outcomes. Up to a rate of about 19 uh, C-sections per 100 live births, we see reductions in maternal and neonatal mortality. Across the world, the average cesarean section rate is over 19%. Going from 19 to 25 to 30% did not result in improvements in neonatal or maternal mortality on a nationwide level. This study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. There are many countries where not enough cesarean sections are being performed, meaning there's inadequate access to safe and timely emergency obstetric care. And conversely, that there are some countries where probably more cesarean sections are being performed than yield health benefits. The authors caution that these findings do not apply to any individual patients, facilities, or hospitals. Our research could give some guidance for why countries should make their healthcare system stronger so that they can provide safe, reliable, and timely C-sections. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.